welcome to the piece of cake baking channel when i started all of this when i thought i wanted to do a, a youtube channel one of the first things that i started to think was all the things that i wanted to do and i planned out all the tutorials and all the behind the scenes but then it occurred to me that the best thing to, to actually start with was a baking essentials overview. There are many people who ask me a lot of things about baking. They ask me, um, is it an expensive hobby? Is it something that I need a lot of equipment? Do I need to buy a lot of things? Basically, you don't. I mean, you can start off and if you don't enjoy it, it, it does, it's not something that is very expensive. You can start off with just a cheap mixer. This wouldn't be more than 20 pounds. You can get a cheap mixer. If you find that you're enjoying it uh, a lot and you're doing a lot of baking, then you can progress to something bigger. You basically need a few bowls, a scraper, a sieve, and very important when it comes to baking, you need a good, good scales. Baking is an exact science. Anybody who knows something about baking, you know that all the ingredients have to be weighed properly. This is not like cooking where you can add ingredients as you wish to your taste. This is something that if you read a recipe, you must always follow a recipe as it says. We then go on to the ingredients. Another thing that I get asked a lot are things like what kind of sugar, what kind of flour, what kind of butter. It does it matter if you use one flour or another flour. A question I get asked a lot is about sugar. Do you use granulated sugar or do I use caster sugar? Caster sugar is the one that most people use for baking and it, all it is, it's like a very ground fine sugar and the other one is more of a granular form. To be honest with you, I have actually always used granulated sugar and I haven't spent money on caster sugar. It's always more expensive and it really isn't necessary. What is, however, necessary is that you get, when you, if a recipe requires that you use butter, use butter. Don't buy a cheap alternative. Don't buy the, the cheap spreads. Those, they contain other ingredients, they contain oils, they contain water, and that is actually one of the biggest baking fails. So always use proper butter. When it comes to flour, that sometimes the recipe asks for most of the time, when it comes to cakes, self-raising flour. Again, the self-raising flour and this plain flour. Always make sure that you stick to the recipe, to what the recipe is saying. And finally, when it comes to eggs, the same fresh eggs there are some um, other alternatives with eggs like dried egg but I would always go for fresh eggs finally when it comes to ingredients always keep your ingredients at room temperature if the butter is too hard because it's out of the fridge it's going to take you a long time to beat if it's melted it's already changed its consistency and it's it's become oil if you're baking you take everything out before when you're going to follow a recipe read the recipe carefully read out all the ingredients, read out everything that you need, weigh them all out before, and then you can start baking your cake. In another episode, we will be talking about baking fails, which is something, another question that lots of people ask me. They ask me, why did the cake rise and fall? Why did this happen? Why did the other happen? It's not an expensive hobby. Start off by buying a few basic things. I really recommend. It's something that helps you relax, and once you do it, your family will love you as well for all the things. Maybe not at first, because at first maybe you're going to have a lot of baking fails and they won't want to taste your good. So that's the basic baking essentials. And then we'll move on to the next tutorial, which will be all about baking cupcakes. And you'll see which one I've chosen for the next episode.